Hi, I'm Martin from Shure AI and I'll be doing the developer blogs from now on. First and foremost, we are really sorry for the long wait. Working on Enderal takes up a lot of time. Which is why I joined the team to help these talented guys out a little. We are also sorry for the German menus you will see in this video. The English version is being developed at the same time, but it's not yet ready to be presented. Also, remember all of the footage you are going to see is still from the alpha stage of the game. In the deep east of Enderal you will find Duneville, a mining city, which is located inside a freshwater cave in the Pinnacle Desert. The city is at the same time a small harbor and trading post. Caravans are transporting fruits and metals from Duneville into the center of the country, to Ark. A few words on our interface. We are also working with the team of SkyUI. They allowed us to use the functionalities of their interface, but we will overhaul its look with new colors, icons and menus. For example, a completely new character and leveling menu. In order to create items in Enderal, you will need blueprints, which can be found or bought. Blueprints for rare items and relics can also be found in dungeons. But more complex blueprints require a high skill in smithing. It doesn't matter if it's a normal iron sword or an artifact. All blueprints have a basic ingredient in common. Spare parts. Those can be found in barrels or boxes. We wanted to make the loot of these containers matter and more relevant. Of course, high-level blueprints will need quite a lot of those spare parts. We are sorry for the chaos in this menu right now. The old recipes haven't been completely replaced by the new ones yet. This is an improved version of the longbow. As you can see to the bottom right, you'll need spare parts for it. Also, you can find blueprints for other stuff. Staves, armor, bows and weapons. But there is one more thing exclusively in Enderal. If you learned the corresponding skill, you can now craft furniture. Like in Nerim, the player will be able to buy a house. This time in different places. In contrast to Skyrim though, you will be able to furnish everything yourself. You can craft furniture like chairs, tables or rugs by yourself or buy them at a shopkeeper. The prettier the piece of furniture looks, the higher the price will be or the skill to craft it. Originally this was a nice to have feature, but thanks to a talented scripter in our team, it could be done early on. We are really happy how this turned out. But for now, let's see how everything looks in action. We are now in the player house in the foreign quarter of the capital, Ark. This has already been furnished. Chickens included. You can place furniture when you drop it from your inventory. This triggers our building mode. It itself has two modes of its own, move and adjust. While in move mode you can simply move around your desired piece of furniture. If you press E now, you'll enter adjust mode. Now you are able to fine tune height and rotation of the item. W and S for height adjustments and A and D for rotation. Holding E for an extended period of time places the object. You will also be able to interact with the items, like sitting down on benches or chairs. And that would be our crafting and housing systems. We sincerely hope you will have a lot of fun with these features and we are looking forward to seeing your cool creations once Enderal is released. Until next time. <laughs>